Bum, 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 bum. No, no. So basically, you can come here, buy a couple of drinks, but still spend a couple hours here, watch something on the TV, and have a great time. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, Rox is designed so that whatever level of entertainment that you're looking for, you can find it here. If you just want to hang out and talk to your friends outside, you can do that. Um, if you want to hang out, get something to drink, and, and you know, sort of be on a date with your girlfriend, you can do that too. If you want to come in, throw down some money for an all-night pass, and you know, game until your fingers bleed, you can do that too. Um, to that extent, also we offer bits and pieces because the, the store is so compartmentalized. We can rent out parts of it. So essentially, if you want to have a birthday party or something, let's say, you would rent out the lounge, or the lounge is a certain amount for a certain amount of time. And depending on the time of the day and the week that you do it. Uh, some people do all night lock ins and they'll get a whole bunch of people together in a group and say, We're putting down this much for this lock in on this evening. And then we shut the store down at 10 p.m. and it's, it's theirs. So, I mean, we have lots of different flexible ways of dealing with, you know, the entertainment factor of what, what are you getting. Some people just really like the ambience. Uh, some people literally. I mean, they're not big gamers, but they are big coffee people, and they just like hanging out here. So they'll bring their uh, they'll bring their laptops in. They'll sort of establish their space, and uh, they'll they'll sketch. They'll work on movie scripts. They'll um, be on the or something, chatting with people, or updating their Facebook. They'll be watching funny videos or something. Uh, one guy plays this online uh, this online zombie apocalypse game. That's all text base in the browser. I mean, it, they, they all find a way to, you know, this is their cheap fun. Um, other people have kind of grown into it. Uh, one group sort of coming here last summer, and we were sort of, uh, we were a stopover on their flight path. So like they would start out at someone's house, <coughs> then they would go to a park until the sun went down. Then they would go uh, to somebody else's house for a little while, until around midnight. Then they would come in here and they would buy exactly one hour of counter strike. And then they would even go to, uh, to IHOP. And then they would go, you know, it's like they just went everywhere. And over the course of the school year, more and more they just made this place their own. So they, you know, they'll come in and study. There'll be like two of them to buy an hour, maybe. Most of the time they're just here to buy balls and, and, and BS for a while and, and do their homework or something people even take naps. You know, we're not going to kick you out for, for just being here. Part of this is a contract of trust with our customers. We trust that you're not just going to come in here, try to sneak a drink in, um, you know, try to sneak some food from someone, and then hang out here and watch the big screen movies and stuff, and never ever pay a dime when you come in. You know, there's a certain exploitive mindset. What can I get away with? And we posit that our customers don't have that mindset. That they're not going to be, what can I get away with? They're going to be what can I do to try to support the store as well as us? And by and large, we've been correct. There's only been a couple of times where we really had to kind of get on people for it. And by and large, the people that we've had to multiple times either don't come back or stop forgetting. Oh, right, I'm not allowed to have drinks in here. Sorry. And most people that are like that, though, are I just want to eat my egg with muffin. Just, I just want to that's the other line we're drawing is you can bring real food. If you have a, 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 a McMeal, you bring the McMeal with a drink and you're eating the McMeal with your drink. Fine. You're eating it. You're eating meat. We don't offer McDonald's food. So, uh, ordering a pizza out, a little bit more iffy. Bringing in a big bag of chips for everyone to share. That's, that's the yeah, I can see the dilemma there. <laughs> yeah, and, and part of it is like, well, I'm going to go get a flurry. Is a flurry a drink? Uh, we've been calling this drawing lines through the gray. So we're trying to come up with reasonable things. That we're only going to go and limit here as much as we have to. Uh, water, great example, water. Uh, it was getting worse and worse over, the, over about a two week period and then it finally came to a head at one of our tournaments where literally all 17 people in the tournament and two people playing on the PCs got nothing but water all over here. I mean, literally, we, we looked at how many waters we gave away, and if those had been bottled drinks, we just lost like $50 a problem by giving away water. And 
now it's like, okay, 50 cents for a cup. You can refill it if you want. But we have to make something off the water. We can't just let people come in and drink as much as they want. You know, is, is this a dick move? I don't know most businesses do that. But, you know, as I've stated, it's one of those things where we have to make sure that that hole is broken. Um, you know, you throw it out there and there's any exploits at all, the million monkeys will find those exploits. The million monkeys will take advantage of those exploits. And you, you give you give a, a group of monkeys a typewriter and eventually they'll write Shakespeare. Shakespeare. But they'll also eventually create Pretty internet chats. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, 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 they'll be a, you know, a gibbering mob of chaos. And we don't have the chaos here, maybe more of a gibbering mob, but there's no chaos. Um, we also try to make sure that if you are getting, if we do have to do something more, if we do have to charge more for something, if there is uh, a situation where we've had to add to a price, we package up something else. So, for example, Mexico first started selling for $2. And then we're like, we're not big enough. You know, the sales are way up here, the profit is way down. You know, it's the not tight thing. So we raised the price to $2.50. And then we started saying, well, but then you can get the squirt of flavoring. You know, the squirts of flavoring are 25 cents extra. But you can get them in a whole variety of different drinks. You know, uh, pomegranate balls. It's actually really easy. But it's 25 cents extra for the balls to get the squirt of pomegranate in it. But uh, for Coke, you're going to have pomegranate Coke and it costs the same. We, we do this in order to try to expand the varieties of Coke. Now. We're not going to carry lime Coke and diet, uh, you know, diet caffeine free cherry Coke. You know, we're, we're not going to do that. Sort of thing. We'll just give an option of that. It's this much for our Coke, and then add whatever you want. So we try to expand this beyond just we're raising our prices. Deal. You know, we're, we're raising our prices, but we're also offering this package deal that if you get a balls with an hour, it's cheaper. So we're, we're maximizing the profit on both of those things while still offering the customer something that they want. And uh, I think it's I think it'll work. I mean, summer's going to be in another. It's been experimental all year, but I think summer's going to really prove that experiment. That, you know, trying to do what we can with the space we have, trying to get the profit we need from what we have and not seem like we're just arbitrarily raising things. You're, you're That's where we need to be. Okay. Well, I, I personally think that, you know, I'll take a little bit of extra price for the... Because, I mean, I, I've met you a couple times already, but I've already... I feel like I know you better than most of the people. Like, if I were to go into another coffee shop, I mean, I don't know that that <laughs> owner as well as I know you already. So, I mean, we try to establish. That's one of our things here. Is the reason Ox will survive is not because we're going to have a multi-million dollar store. It's not going to be because oh, yeah, we are doing any concept. It's not going to be because. Um, our prices are, are low, 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 and you can come in here again. You know, we're going to survive because there are big people here. And it's that law of doubling. You know, you start out with people starting the store who, you know, and, and some of their friends who are cool people. And then those friends and friends bring in their friends. And most of those are pretty cool people. And then another group of friends hears about this and comes in and starts hanging out and realizes that there's other cool people to hang with. And it seeds itself. More people. And the more of those people you get that are here on a regular basis, the more people want to be here. I've considered it like social plate spinning. Like the old Valdell actor are doing this and trying to keep the plate spinning on poles. Right now, I'm, you know, it's me and maybe two or three of the people that are spinning right now. But the more people get here, the more people come on stage and help me spin plates. And so finally, I can just step back, and the people spinning the plates are also the people entertaining the audience from the audience. And now I can go backstage and have a smoke and talk to my producer. You know, it's like, to a certain point, the amount of energy and effort that we put into being, hey, the owners are cool people, and we want to be there and talk with them because there's always something cool to talk about. That draws in our initial group. And the more people hang here, the more it becomes their group. The more it becomes, oh, they're not just here to talk with Andy or Jamie or Matt. Any of other people who come are interesting people. That it's going to become more like, hey, the Rocks crowd is really cool. You can almost be guaranteed that there's not going to be, you know, this element of stupid there. You know, there's, there's, it's slow going, though. 
but it's hitting that redoubling point right now. It's starting to get more friends, getting more friends, getting more friends. And we need to we need to keep that going because that's where we that's what's gonna make us special. That's 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 what's gonna make us successful. You're, you're not going to find the kid that you find on Xbox Live here hanging out all the time. Like, yeah, he'll get he'll get uh, made fun of. <laughs> no, I, I won't hum the theme. No way. No. <laughs>